when your last name is Romo. Family time involves a little football. Tonight, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo is doing something very rare. He and his wife Candace opened their home to Mary. Yeah, Brian, behind us, we're sharing some of the family's really personal photos. Candace and Tony Romo are intensely private and don't share this side of their life very often. But tonight, they are both talking about faith, about football, and the boys who keep them focused on what's really important. Because there's one thing that having kids has taught me, it's that, you know, you really can have the exact same environment and they can be two completely different kids. They love different things. They have a little bit different personalities. Uh, they're, they're sweet boys, you know, they're, they're really fun to be around, but you know, one just loves Legos. Huckins, our four-year-old, like loves Legos. And, like wakes up and he's excited. Did you get me new Legos yet? Our younger one, Rivers, our two-year-old, like out of the womb, wanted a ball, wants to play football, wants to play basketball. And it's just hilarious. He's like a miniature Tony. I asked Tony if he wanted his boys to follow in his footsteps and play football. We all want, you know, your kids to like what you like. You know, it's something like, for me, obviously, it's sports and stuff. We really just hope that they're just really good kids. Do you see more kids in your future? Mm -hmm. Tony needs a girl. Tony will has his days. Like, uh, <laughs> like, I want, like, I want five kids. And I'm like, oh, well, you can have them. <laughs> you carry them. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we'll have one more at least. Yeah, I'd love a girl. Tony married Candace five years ago. Part of what attracted me to Candace was just that she's similar to me. And that inherently, you know, we're homebodies who like family and, you know, when we go on vacation, we take her parents, we take mine, and that's fun, it's enjoyable. No one loves her family, um, her husband, her kids more, and at the same time, no one works harder. The two share a strong faith, which the Romos say brings perspective and peace after tough losses. Yeah, I'm lucky to, you know, love something bigger than myself, obviously, in the Lord, and I think that's an easy way for me to get through all the rough patches that go on in life. Without faith and the hope of something after, you know, after this life, that it would it would be a lot harder to get through the season. We asked Candace the one thing we may not know about her husband. He's very loyal. Like his best friends were his best friend from growing up in elementary school and his best friend from college. And they all live here in Dallas. And they they came down here with Tony. It's been easier with us, but in Christmas and holidays and It's mostly because they haven't gotten married yet. And what's his relationship really like with his boss, owner Jerry Jones? He's always like matter of calling for any kind of advice or anything, he's always been there. He's very um, honest. He's so supportive. He'd be like, you know, a dad who's just always supported you and rooted for you and you know, he, he has to make tough decisions at the same time. And, uh, you know, so, he, you know, I'm in an easy spot. It's just, you know, I'm the player and I just get to go play and everything. But he's got to try and build an organization. Tony acknowledges being the quarterback for America's team comes with a great responsibility, but also an incredible opportunity. Did you ever dream that you would be where you are today? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Gosh. I'm kidding. <sighs> You don't, you don't think like that far. I think you want to like play, you know, football. You want to play in the NFL. Time in the pocket. Into the end zone. Brian, touchdown. I was just kind of engrossing myself in the where I'm at and trying to just figure out how to be good enough to help this football team now. So what will he do after he retires? Of course, I asked, and Tony says he doesn't know yet. He doesn't go there yet. They do know they will stay in Dallas. They just built a house together in North Dallas. They'll be moving in a few weeks. So they're firmly planted in North Texas. Well, let's hope it's a while before he retires and then we have like a, a Super Bowl ring. Yeah, he joked, exactly. Now and then, right? He joked that he would play until he was 50 if he could. And poor Candace, everyone's <laughs> going to be on baby bump watch now, right? Sorry. <laughs>